Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. Recently, the Ministry of Finance of Japan revealed an interesting data. In the first quarter of 2024, Japanese semiconductor equipment sold well overseas, and mainland China became their favorite accounting for half of the market. The other half went to South Korea, the United States, Taiwan, China and other places to start their global journey. The Japanese media are deeply worried about the current situation. They pointed out with concern that nearly half of the many semiconductor equipment manufacturers in Japan now rely on the nourishment of Chinese chip factories. If China makes a major breakthrough in the field of semiconductor equipment, how should these Japanese manufacturers deal with it? Speaking of this situation, it is worth observing the Japanese semiconductor equipment giant Tokyo Electronics. The data witnesses the truth. In the first quarter, mainland China contributed up to 46.9% of its revenue, and the proportion has steadily increased in the past three quarters, from 39.3% to 42.8% and then to 46.9%, which effectively interprets the huge potential of the Chinese market. In the global semiconductor equipment industry, Japan is not an exception. All major manufacturers are like this, and they all have a deep dependence on the purchase of Chinese chip factories, as if they are an inseparable lifeline closely connected to each other, and jointly interpret the prosperity and win-win situation of the semiconductor industry. According to authoritative statistics from the semiconductor industry, in the first quarter of this year, the eight major giants in the global semiconductor equipment field were eager for the Chinese market with a dependence rate of up to 44.5%, which shows the important position of the Chinese market in the global semiconductor industry. Why is the purchase volume in mainland China so huge? There are mainly the following reasons behind it. First, the market scale is huge and the demand is strong. Second, the industrial chain is complete, and the supply chain is stable. Third, policy support and a superior business environment. These factors have jointly promoted the mainland's purchase boom. The performance of semiconductor equipment in mainland China is indeed somewhat weak, and the types of substitutes are limited. Therefore, China has had to rely heavily on foreign imports for a long time. This situation is indeed a bit helpless. I hope that domestic manufacturers can catch up and break this situation. Look at this picture. This is the data shown by a certain organization. By 2023, the localization rate of semiconductor equipment in mainland China will be only 11.7%. TSK, that means that more than 85% will have to rely on imports. In this way, the purchase amount will of course rise. In recent years, chip manufacturers in mainland China have been like hard-working bees, expanding production on a large scale. Because they are in urgent need of a large number of semiconductor equipment, they are looking for it like hungry wolves, 
so the amount of foreign purchases has also increased. I believe everyone has known this for a long time. In recent years, the construction of domestic chip factories has been in full swing, and the demand for equipment has surged. However, domestic equipment is in short supply, and China can only look overseas and seek external support to meet production needs. Foreign manufacturers are optimistic about the Chinese mainland market, and equipment sales are increasing day by day, and the amount is rising. This not only drives the surge in sales performance, but also highlights the huge potential and attractiveness of the Chinese market, allowing foreign manufacturers to increase their investment. Everyone knows that under the suppression, the demand for semiconductor equipment at domestic chip factories is becoming more and more urgent. The suppression is becoming increasingly severe and the restrictions are becoming more and more extensive. China has to buy equipment now and stock up more for emergency use. After all, no one can guarantee whether it can be purchased smoothly in the future. Therefore, the superposition of these factors has caused the purchase amount of semiconductor equipment this year to soar by an astonishing 113%. On the global stage, only mainland China is forging ahead, with the amount of semiconductor equipment procurement continuing to grow, while other countries and regions are in a downward trend. However, China's large-scale purchase of semiconductor equipment is also worrying. Once China's domestic technology makes a breakthrough and the domestic production rate increases significantly, what should foreign semiconductor equipment manufacturers do? Who can they sell their equipment to? This is undoubtedly a huge challenge. Second, there are concerns about China's large-scale expansion of chip production capacity. Mainland China mainly focuses on mature chips, but this trend is sweeping the world. Who can compete with Chinese chip manufacturers in the field of mature chips? After all, once the competition is fierce, China's supply chain, labor and cost advantages will be difficult to surpass.